G'day everyone. With a little over three weeks until the Victorian trout season reopens, I've decided that now is a fitting time to do a review on the Stry Tiger range of soft plastics. Stry Tiger are a sponsored item of mine. However, I will be keeping this review as unbiased as I possibly can. Now before I start, have a look at this magnificent creek. Just let me tell you that I'm not actually fishing during the closed season as some people may assume I am. In fact, I'm bushwalking with my wife who is just off the camera up there at the moment. I've brought some Strike Tiger gear with me on the hope that if I found a nice pretty place like this I could sit down and do this review, which I am. And most of all, this is actually only a seasonal stream. This creek has not flowed properly since around 2010-2011. This is just absolutely fantastic and this is indicative of just how much rainfall we have had in recent months here in the Wangaratta area. This is the Warby Ovens National Park and even though it's a seasonal rainfall, a seasonal stream sorry, as I walk up here I find myself looking in the pools, just looking for turtles, for fish or for places that may hold life. It's like a natural instinct for me to do that. But anyway, without any further ado, let's talk Strike Tiger. Let's start with what I consider the cream of the crop of the Strike Tiger range and my absolute all-time favourite trout soft plastic and that is the Strike Tiger Nymph. The Strike Tiger Nymph is one inch long. It's only a really small soft plastic. It's just like a little creature or a minnow. You probably see that there. It's got tentacles and a couple of legs and it's, you know, it's only the size of the end of my thumb. If you pick up, even in these seasonal streams, if you pick up any of the rocks and stuff from underneath the water and turn them upside down, you will find all sorts of invertebrates and nymphs and stuff just crawling around the bottom. Most of those things grow, go on to grow wings and fly away and stuff. Tadpoles are the nymph stage of frogs. Mud eyes are the nymph stage of dragonflies. There's so many different caddis and nymph and stuff under there that will turn into different moths and all sorts of things. And this striped tiger nymph is just a generic nymph designed to mimic any particular one of those and none in particular. On its own, just rig like that, it can, it can work very, very well and the trout will climb all over it. I often find I make a little bit less bulky by simply removing the claws. They just pull off just like that, you see that? And now it's a clawless nymph. It's got two little tentacles and a body. When rigged with a, with a nice light jig head and it's worked slowly through the water like that, that will look like a little bit of a minnow or possibly even a tadpole. With the claws it may look like a mud eye, a small mud eye or a spider mud eye, a little yabby or just some other sort of nymph. They're not designed to mimic anything in particular but they do work extremely well. Just recently I was fishing with crickets and I ran out of crickets so I needed to match the hatches, fly fishermen call it, and find something dark and small. So I put on a black nymph like that and I cleaned up with it. It worked really well. And like all striped tiger soft plastics, they are scented. When I say they're centred, I don't mean they're in the middle of the pack, in the centre of the pack. <laughs> I mean they're centred as in they smell nice. Well, the fish think they do. Next on the, the list for Strike Tiger is the Strike Tiger Froglet. Once again, it's one inch. And I have to admit, I've been using the Nymph for four or five years now. I've only been using the Froglet for about two. And once again, it's centred. These things that rival the nymph. These are the top of the range from Stry Tiger. The froglet and the nymph are equally as good as each other in my opinion. Once again, one inch long, nice and small. Trout like a nice small food source. They don't they don't all sometimes they will want something big. Usually when they're aggressive in the spawning season they'll hit a big long minnow. But during the summer and the spring when they're feeding, they like something small. They'll swim around grazing on nymphs and small froglets all day and the striped tiger froglet is ideal particularly in wet conditions when there's a lot of frogs around now because i've got these microphones in you probably can't hear too much background noise but i can hear a lot of frogs in this creek at the moment if the season was open and if this wasn't a seasonal stream now would be an ideal time to use a froglet and this spring after all the rain we've had the striped tiger froglet will come into its own above everything else i believe they come in a range of colors but the nymph and the froglet both come in quite dark colours because they are predominantly designed as a trout soft plastic. Now, let's be honest, the striped tiger froglet is sort of just a glorified twin tail grub, curl tail, twin tail grub, one inch long. What sets, it, what sets it out from the rest is the fact that it's such a small twin tail grub. It's got ribbing around the edge just to give it a little bit of a natural look. 
and the colours. The colours are fantastic. All Strike Tiger soft, soft plastics are quite strong. They're not as strong as some of the others like the Z-Man, which are designed specifically for strength that'll stretch a mile. These will break, but they are at the stronger end of the breakable soft plastics, if that makes sense, before you move on to the stretchable ones. The Strike Tiger Nymph and the Strike Tiger Froglet are my two favourite soft plastics. Now, Strike Tiger are based in Tasmania, where the majority of the freshwater fishing is trout and redfin. That is why they specialise in trout and redfin soft plastics. They don't have anything really big designed to target bigger species like Murray Cod. No doubt you will catch it. I have actually caught a Murray Cod on one, but I was chasing redfin. Next in line is the Strike Tiger Hog. The Hog is a very similar design to the Strike Tiger Nymph. The hog actually comes in a, a clear pattern. You can look straight through it. I should have brought one with me. You can look straight through it, but in the water it looks white. And they actually catch quite a lot of trout. They're quite good. I like this. I like the smell of the striped tigers. It's not an overly pungent smell. Now, the hog, as you can see there, is a two-inch. It's like a two-inch nymph, pretty much. Inside, it's good in places where trout feed on mud eyes and yabbies. It's not my go-to soft plastic in the smaller streams. That definitely goes to the nymph or the froglet. But I do use these if I'm in a waterway where I know there are bigger trout. And also by removing the claws, they are quite a handy redfin soft plastic. There's a spot for the, the hogs. They're not the top of the range, but they're certainly a good soft plastic. As I said, particularly in waterways where trout are known to feed on yabbies and shrimps. And most of all, mud eyes. And they do come in a range of colours, particularly darker colours that will mimic the mud eyes well, quite well. Moving up from the hog, we've got a two inch pearl tail grub. I've got the white bait pearl pattern right here. White bait pearl, striped tiger is my all time favourite redfin soft plastic. Now the smaller trout soft plastics like the froglet and the hog don't come in these bright colours. They only come in natural colours because trout like natural. Redfin love bright things. So this is, this is the two inch and there's also a three inch which I've got here somewhere. There's a three inch also in the same colour. They come, as I said, they come in a, white, a bright colour range, the grubs. There's, look at that, that's the banana shock. Bright yellow and deadly on redfin and works well on trout in May. May and early June when they're building up the spawn and they're looking for bright colours. The two inch and the three inch, basically they're just a curl tail grub. The, the, probably the benefit of the striped tiger is that they are quite a strong plastic. I'm putting a fair bit of pressure on there and the tail's not breaking. There you go, it just broke now. It took a bit of pressure and I know it's funny because I broke it, but I was actually trying to. I just wanted to demonstrate how much it will stretch before it breaks. They're quite strong. They, the grubs, the two and three inch grubs, do come in darker colours as well, such as olive pepper and stuff like that. And they're okay for trout. They work really well for trout. But with the grubs, I like them for redfin, and I love the white. White bait pearl for redfin. With the trout... I like the olive pepper froglet, because a lot of frogs are a greeny sort of colour. I like the black and gold nymph, or the black caviar nymph, which has got a bit of red in it, because a lot of nymphs are very dark in colour. But with the red fin, I like the bright. Now, we've also got, here we have the next size up, which, well, it's not even the next size up, but it's a bigger, bulkier, soft plastic. This is the Strike Tiger 2.5 inch T-tail, which is a T-tail a or a paddle tail. There they are, there in the bag. They have got like an articulated section in the middle, a real thin section to allow the tail to flop around. They're a bigger, bulkier soft plastic than the curl tail grubs. The curl tail grubs have a lot more movement than the tea tails, but tea tails generally make more of a thump in the water and displace a bit more water with the tail. So they send off a bit more of a vibration. So you've got your curl tail grubs, as I demonstrated earlier, which will move around a lot more and you can work them at a slower speed than what you can the tea tail but the tea tail will send off a bit more of a vibration making it good in water that's a little bit off colour and they're also very good for larger redfin larger redfin like these tea tails because they are a bit bigger and a bit bulkier now i haven't got them with me but strike tiger do have a few other soft plastics in their range which i don't use a whole lot of there's a strike tiger worm which is about four inches long it's like a really big long skinny wiggly tail i have caught trout on them in the past but I don't like to use gear that's not really suited to the fishing that I do. And in the small streams, it's not great. But I have heard that they are fantastic for the flathead and the saltwater species because they can be rigged 
singly with a stick and a hook through the end and is dragged along the sand and the flathead will climb all over them. I also have some at home of the Strike Tiger Twin Tail 4 inch grubs. They are good for yellow belly and larger redfin. Not so good for trout because they're quite big and bulky and trout don't usually look for that. They're quite in, intrusive plastic but they are very good for yellow belly particularly in channels and lowland sort of shaded waterways or murky waterways. If you want to use a soft plastic for trout, the four, uh, for yellow belly, sorry, the four inch twin tail is a great thing. Once again, it's not my top of the range lure in my area, but should I be travelling somewhere where there's a lot of yellow belly, I'll be sure to grab a bag. And if I head over chasing flathead, I'll be sure to grab some striped tiger worms, although I've still got some at home because I have heard that they are dynamite on flathead. Now, striped tiger have a frog and a froglet. I'm just going to grab these froglets. This is the one inch froglet. As I stated before, they are absolutely dynamite on the trout. The frog is good in certain situations. For the smaller streams that I fish, the frog isn't great. The frog is bigger, it's a bit more robust. It looks so much like a frog that it's not funny. And I think that they will come into their own in larger rivers, such as the Middle Middle River and the Kiwa River, where you might be fishing after dark and you want a frog to silhouette against the moon and get those bigger fish that are feeding off the surface at night time. The frog would be better than a froglet. But for the sort of fishing that I do in the smaller streams and stuff like that, the froglet is my absolute number one favourite soft plastic. Or the froglet and the nymph. Right, now Stry Tiger have a few other things in their range. It's not just the soft plastics. This review was to review the soft plastics, but I am going to mention the other things that they have as well, because they are a sponsor of mine and they look after me, so I'm going to look after them. They have the micro spoon, which can be ideal in small trout streams. They're very small, very non-intrusive, and they work really well at a very slow speed and the current will wash them around. They're a single hook. I do suggest you up, okay, update the hook because the hooks on these haven't got the biggest barb. They will hook and they will catch fish, but if you change the hook to something with a bigger barb, you'll probably have a better hook up rate. But the Strike Tiger Spoon is a must to have in your tackle box if you like fishing in small streams. I have made a video using the Strike Tiger Micro Spoon, and you can see that here. Strike Tiger also have their own range of jig heads now. This is a size 2 and a 1 8. Because Strike Tiger are from Tasmania, they don't have really big jig heads suitable for big yellow belly and Murray cod fishing. Strike Tiger are predominantly about trout and redfin, and these jig heads work really, really well. These bigger ones here, the 1.8s, work very well with the curl tail grubs and the tea tails, and the smaller ones that they have, the 116s and the 132, they work really well with the froglet and the nymph. The thing I like about the Strike Tiger soft plastics, the, sorry, the Strike Tiger jig heads, I don't really want to get one out here because I haven't got a tackle box to carry them in. So I'll try and show you through the bag. And you can see they've got a bend in the gap on the hook. That bend there just lowers the tip down closer to the main jig head, and I believe that helps a lot with hookup rates. That helps increase your hookup rates. I'm a big, big fan of the Strike Tiger jig heads. They're very, very good. And they also have the Strike Tiger eyes, lure eyes. These are designed for people who like to get crafty. You can actually pimp up your own jig heads, paint them with a bit of nail polish, and glue your own eyes on. You can put them on any lure, really. These are just handy to put on anything that you want eyes on. If you've got a lure, like a stump jumper or something that's lost its eyes, you can actually buy replacement eyes of Strike Tiger to put on your, your lures and on your soft plastics. And I have a video on, on how to do that right here. Okay. Well, that just about sums it up, folks. That's the Strike Tiger range. Trout season's opening in the next few weeks, as I said. I cannot recommend highly enough, and I'm not saying this because I'm sponsored, I'm saying it because they're very, very good. I cannot highly enough recommend the Strike Tiger Froglet and the Strike Tiger Nymph in natural colours. Black and gold is my favourite, and the olive pepper is my favourite for the froglet because they will work very well. And with all the water around and the wet winter we've had, I am sure the froglet is going to bring success this springtime. Good luck.